All right, George, uh, what are the benefits of integrating your Eagle View imagery into your Esri tools? Joe, some of the, some of the benefits um, we get from our partnership with Eagle View, um, with our yearly flights, we're able to have a countywide perspective um, of, of the imagery, which means that all our partners can be looking at the same imagery um, together in their applications. Um, what one of the, some of the main things our office does is the 911 addressing. Um, and that's important um, to see where uh, from year to year where new buildings are coming in, new streets are being put down. Um, also in our road and bridge department, um, we integrate the obliques into um, our um, web viewers and that allows our uh, culverts and our OSSF team, they can really do um, some a little bit more in depth from the office when they're looking at their assets in the field. Hmm. So it saves a lot of time from having to go out and field. Yeah, it's a good um, starting point for, for doing research, for sure. Um, can kind of see where those are located um, from year to year, see if there's any deterioration before they actually go out into the field. Right. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, the next question I have for you is, uh, what are you looking forward to hearing about at the Esri User Conference this year? Well, um, kind of what I was just mentioning with uh, some of the use for our road and bridge folks, we're, we're really trying to transition and get involved in the, the mobile um, applications and um, really interested in looking at the new uh, field work, um, uh, field maps, excuse me, um, and seeing how that can integrate and how we can take advantage of some of those new tools that are being put together for that um, to, to streamline some of our processes. Um, anything to do with uh, 10.9, uh, the new release is going to be is good to see to see how we can um, change up some of our workflows and and try to get an idea of where um, we need to be going <laughs> as a as a county and a team. Right, right. Uh, what do you see as the main role of a county GIS department? Ah, that, that's a great question. Um, I get asked it <laughs> a lot. Um, well, one of our main roles in our office because we're so heavily embedded in the nine one one is is um, really um, we, we have a, a role and responsibility to our departments within the county to provide um, accurate data, emergency response, um, um, especially with the 911 dispatch. But we also have a role at the county level to our constituents, um, regardless of whether they, they all live in the county, but if they live in a city, we still provide um, that 911 street address and awareness of representation um, and and um, getting the message out from the county level. So um, it's really customer service is how we look at it, whether it's internal or external. And, um, and, and really uh, there's never a dull day on what we get asked for <laughs> and how we can help people, so. Good, excellent. Uh, George, regarding your comment about what G the function GIS serves, um, what do you mean by the customer service? Well, the customer service um, for the public would be, we, we get a lot of calls for addressing um, to, to request a new address, or they want to know um, what's around them, um, who the representation is for um, water, um, gas, sewer. Mm. Um, we, we can provide that using GIS um, technology um, internally is is kind of the same we we ma manage and maintain the layers that go into certain um, um, applications like our dispatch software um, and even just our web viewers we can we can leverage those boundaries to then um, be able to query by address and provide information for their location mm, okay so that, that's kind of what I mean by the customer service from that end using the GIS tools Okay, great, thank you.